guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Alice, I go by Hello Alice here on YouTube and I make art videos. And today I wanted to talk to you about a topic that I've been asked about quite a few times and I think it's because a lot of my subscribers are in high school so this is something that you're really starting to think about especially as you get into your later years of high school and if you are interested in pursuing art as a career and that is about art school and more specifically whether you should go to a private like dedicated art school or a bigger public university. And one of the reasons I wanted to talk to you about this is I've actually done both and I've graduated from both. So if you're a fan of my channel if you watch, or if you've watched my channel for a while, you probably know that I have an animation degree. What you may not know is I actually have a second degree as well. I have one degree from a public university, that's Colorado State University. Go Rams! <laughs> um, and my degree from CSU is a Bachelor's of Fine Arts with concentrations in painting and graphic design and a minor in English. I also have a degree from Rocky Mountain College of Art and Design, which is another Bachelor of Fine Arts um, with a concentration in 3D animation. There are reasons that I didn't get my master's and that I instead have two Bachelors of Fine Arts, but I'm not going to get into those in this video because that's not what this video is about. But because I've been to both schools, I feel like I can kind of speak a little bit to the pros and cons of each and maybe help you guys when you're trying to figure out what you want to do and what's the best path for you to pursue. The first thing I want to say is that your art school experience and whether or not you even choose to go to art school is entirely up to you. Something like your education is extremely personal and different things are going to appeal to different people. You're all going to have different resources available to you, whether that's financial or even just what is in your state or your country. So this is entirely up to you. So everything that I say, I'm going to try to be as fair as I can. Take it with a grain of salt. I'm not going to tell you which one to do, but hopefully this will help you get a little bit of perspective on the different options. So I'm going to be talking primarily about two types of schools. So I'm going to be talking about your universities, both public and private, but I'm going to, I'm going to be focused more on public. So universities are you can go and they have an art program but they're also going to have like a mathematics program, a physics program, a science program, like all of that stuff. It's, it's um, a general education. You can go there for a lot of different majors. Uh, a lot of these are public, like your state schools. You also have private schools like Yale, but they're going to be a well, kind of a well-rounded school. And then for the dedicated art schools, it's that's the best way I can think of to describe it. These are almost all private. I don't think any of them are publicly funded. And these are going to be schools that are dedicated entirely to the arts. So like Rhode Island School of Design, Savannah College of Art and Design, CalArts, all of those schools, like the big names that you've heard of, those are all private art universities or art schools. So when I got my first degree, I went to Colorado State University. Colorado State University is a publicly funded state university with like a million different degrees in a million different areas and I majored in art. First of all, I loved CSU and I still love CSU. I, between my two schools, like CSU has my heart and I don't know if that was because it was my first school and I went there like as a freshman and you know, I got to stay in the dorms, but I, I love CSU. I had an amazing experience and so I want to talk about that a little bit um, and some of the things that I think that I gained from going to CSU. And the first thing which I think is the biggest thing about going to um, a university, whether it's public or private, is you get a much more rounded education. So if you just go to a dedicated art school, it's it's only art, right? Um, but if you go to a university, you can take a lot more courses and you'll be required to take general education co courses in things like history and science and math and English and all of that stuff. And to people that are like, oh my god, I love art, um, this can sound really like a bad thing, but I think it's a really good thing even if you don't want to take those classes. Um, and I think it's good for, for two reasons. The first is that when you when you're an artist, your art is informed by the world around you. And so I think it's really important to be educated on the world around you, at least to a basic extent. 
And so when you start studying some things like, say, history, I think history is a really good one, at the college level, you start learning a lot more about the things that created our society and created the world that we live in today. And then you can use that stuff to inform your perspective in your own art. And by getting that more well-rounded education, I think it prepares you more for the real world and I think it prepares you to be more educated with your art because your art is coming from a place of learning. And I think that's really important if you want to expand your mind and expand your boundaries, which I think is really important um, when you're an artist. The second reason I think it's really important to get a well-rounded education is because you kind of can have a backup. So I think we all know that being an artist is definitely a tricky career to pursue. Um, it's not stable in a lot of situations. There's a lot of competition out there and it's not exactly the most high paying job. You can really make your chances of being a su successful artist higher by diversifying your education. You can either minor or double major in something that can support your art career. Business or education, um, you can go into multiple different directions. Uh, business is going to help you create your own art company and your own art business and it's going to help you make smart financial decisions. Education, you could become a teacher. It just gives you a lot of options if you want to double major or minor in something so that you can be you can be a step ahead of artists that don't have any education in that field. You can also kind of have a backup. Okay, so art doesn't work out, but that's cool because I have another major in accounting and everybody needs an accountant. Um, so I just think that being able to get a more well-rounded education, it gives you a lot more options for your future. Along with being well-rounded in the classes you can take, you're also exposed to a lot more people from a lot more of a kind of different um, mindset. You know, you can make friends with people that are science majors or that are history majors, people that view the world in a very different way from you. And I think that's also important for informing your art. And it's also a great way to make diverse connections because you never know when that English major that you were BFFs with is going to be a published author and needs somebody to illustrate their book. And then they contact you. Whereas if you were an at an art school, you're kind of all competing against one another. On top of that, if you're going to a public university, they tend to be significantly, significantly cheaper, especially than some of the really high-end art schools. Um, they can get really, really pricey. A, a lot of universities also have more scholarships um, and uh, better financial aid as well. So. If affordability is a concern, then a general university is a really, really good bet. Even if you're just kind of getting your beginning classes and then you transfer, like you get your figure drawing and all of that and then you transfer for your second two years is also an option. Location is another big thing. There are obviously a lot less um, dedicated art universities and it just may be easier for you to go to a general university. And if those are your options, if your option is to go to a general university and major in art, you're not going to get any, in my opinion, the quality of education is not less at all. Obviously it depends where you go, but I feel like my quality of education was just as good at CSU as it was at Rocky Mountain. Um, I feel like I learned a lot and I was well prepared um, when I graduated and I adored my teachers. And one last thing about universities is you're going to get more of the traditional college experience. If you like to act, there are a lot of plays that you can audition to be in. If you are into sports, you can be on sports teams and even get scholarships for that. There are, you know, you know, football games and tailgating and um, sororities and fraternities and if that's something you're interested in in like the kind of the traditional college experience is going to be most easily found at a university and if that's something that you really want to experience, it was something that I was excited to experience, then that's something that is really unique, I feel, to a general ed university. So now that I've talked about public universities, I want to talk a little bit about private. So I went to Rocky Mountain College of Art and Design, which is a for-profit university. So that's going to lead me to my first talking point. Private art schools can be sketchy. Um, there are some out there that aren't accredited. If you're going to go to a private art school, please make sure it is accredited. A lot of them aren't. Um, my school is accredited. The school that I went to, Rocky Mountain, is accredited. Um, I was happy with the quality of education I got from there, and I have an actual degree that I can hand to employers, so I'm good. Um, but there are definitely some really sketchy art schools out there, so 
if you're going to go to a private art school, please do your research. So just be really, really careful when looking up private universities. However, though, once you've kind of decided on your university and it is accredited, it's good, it's, it's you know, there's good reviews about it, you've read it from the students, you know, you can read. Universities have reviews. You can read them. So, like, Google that online. Look it up. Um, there are definitely some benefits to going to a dedicated art school. And the first um, is that... In a public school or a, a, a general university, like I said, you're going to get a, a well-rounded education. It's going to be diverse. Um, however, in an art school, a dedicated art school, it's going to be really, really laser focused. And that could be exactly what you need. If you're one of those people and you just want to live and breathe art all the time, you want to be surrounded by art students, you want to be in the studio all the time, you want to be close by, you don't want to have to deal with like any classes that you don't have to take that aren't art. I do think some art schools make you take math. But um, I know there are like some general requirements, but they're not as much as like a general university. So you'll still probably have to take a couple. But if you want to live and breathe art, be surrounded by art students and have a really, really art focused education, then a dedicated art school could be exactly what you're looking for because that's what it is, you know, like you're not dealing with, oh, I have to go take three science classes. You know, you are like maybe have to take one. Um, and it's, it's very, very focused on the art. The other thing about the dedicated art school is that often the top art schools are private art schools. So, you know, like I said, RISD and CalArts, like these are top art schools and they are private. However, there are also general education schools that are really, really good. Yale has one of the best masters in painting programs, like out there um, and obviously that's still private but it is like a general education but a lot of the really really top schools are private if you want to go to Disney I know that it is highly recommended to try to get into CalArts um, I know they pick from there a lot um, and if you have specific teachers that you want to learn from a lot of times some of the industry like the top industry professional professionals are going to be at those private art schools so if you're looking for an education that's a lot more focused and if you want to go to one of those top schools that's going to look like hella good on your resume, then a private art school, a private dedicated art school, is probably something that you want to look into. However, with that, obviously it's going to be a lot more expensive than a public art school. Significantly more expensive. Any private school is going to be more expensive. Um, but you do get benefits. You get um, frequently you get a higher like an eat a better access to industry professionals a lot of times you're gonna um, have better equipment because honestly public schools don't tend to put that much funding into the arts as sad as that is um, you don't really have to compete as much for funding when you're at a private art school and uh, you can make great connections within the industry so I talked about how at a public school you can kind of make more generalized connections but at a private school you're going to be able to make um, more focused connections in the industry so it's really a difference in my opinion it comes down to really really focused or more well-rounded and what is something that you want more like what it what it what appeals to you more um, you can get like I said top tier schools do fall into both categories um, Yale is general education um, but then you also have like CalArts and RISD which are a private dedicated art school and the last thing with the private schools again location is a big one they're definitely not as easily accessible and there's a pretty high chance that you might have to move depending on where your school of choice is located so that's pretty much everything I have to say about going to a general education university or a private art school like I said, I went to both, I graduated from both. I really enjoyed my experiences at both, but my experiences were very different. When I was 18, I was so, so glad that I went to a public school. I didn't feel like I was ready for the intense competition that I felt would come along with a private art school, which is something else that I meant to mention. Um, there's gonna be a lot more competition. You're literally surrounded by art students. They're all there, they know what they want. Like, you can't really get away from that. All your friends are gonna be artists, you know, and there is a lot more competition, which can be a really good thing or a really bad thing, depending on who you are. It's all about who you are. For me, at that age, I wanted to go and I wanted to, you know, I wanted to be an RA and I wanted to go to homecoming and I, I wanted to minor in uh, originally theater but ended up minoring in English. Um, I just, I wanted to take more classes that weren't art classes. I have a huge love for English, hence the minor. 
it just was what was right for me at the time and I don't regret it even for a second. I think the quality of education I got at CSU was absolutely phenomenal. I love their art program. I love the professors. Um, I adore it. I think they care so much and I loved it. Um, but I also loved RUMCAD. It was amazing being surrounded by so many other artists. They really create a culture of art there. Um, you know, there's so many art events and it's really cool kind of no matter where you go, it's all artists. And it was what I needed at that time as well. So I would really encourage you if you're considering going to art school, which you don't have to do, um, but if you are considering going to art school or going to school for art, kind of start thinking about what you want your college experience to look like. Um, and remember that the most important thing to remember is that you're going to get out of it what you put into it. If you go into school, regardless of whether it is a dedicated art school or a general education, with an open mind, a willingness to learn, and a willingness to accept criticism and improve yourself, then you're going to do great regardless of where you go because you're willing to work hard and and that's really the most important thing. I hope this video is helpful for anyone that is trying to figure out what is best for them. Um, I'm sorry if this is kind of long. I feel like I've been rambling forever. Um, but yeah, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you liked it enough to want to stick around and see some more videos, then hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified every time I upload a new video. I do upload new videos every single Friday, so come join the Wonderland fam. And as always, have a great rest of your day. Bye guys!